am so thankful for Joe. If it wasn't for him, I would have been dead. Wow, look at that. Nice bed. He really did upgrade. Wow, kitchen's pink too. Wait a minute. How much you want to bet Joe has a girl? It makes sense. Now this place deserves to be burnt down. Stop it, Vini. So me. Where is he now? Okay, right here. Bathroom. Yeah, yeah, I know the place. Ew, what the hell is that inside the toilet? How are you gonna take Where a crap? Going? The Hill of Tara, the Mick joint in Kingston. Come on, I'll tell you the rest in the car. Okay, let me get some clothes. Okay, shirt with trousers. Ah, there it is. Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on. I'll trade that one. Ah, oh, great. A fucking clown suit. Wow. Did it get any worse? <laughs> You finally got some style. I'm Shut gonna up, that shirt Joe. back, by the way. They don't make treads like those no more. Yeah, there's a reason for that, you know? The shade. Vinny, at least he gave you some clothes, bro. Come on, stop with the shade. It's funny, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, man. Okay, well, lover of ladies here, like my video, share my video, leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be, be sorry. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me, and hit that notification button as well, so you know when I upload my videos. Come on, get in. Not in that taxi, cause I definitely crashed that vehicle. Okay, first of all, ooh. You mean to tell me, even though I put cars here, it's not going to get fixed? Ooh. Okay, what cars should I get? You know what? This one. Oh, wait, 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 let me change the radio. Whew. I was not trying to get in trouble with YouTube. Okay, Joe, where are we going? Oh. Oh, I basically left Joe behind. My bad, bro. I thought you were already in the car. Why are you slacking? Right. Come on. So you heard anything about the Mix lately? No, no. Why? The Mix got themselves a new boss. Name's Mickey Desmond. There's a few other guys who want to take his spot. So he's trying to show everybody that he means business. What the hell does that have to do with me? Brian O'Neill. He was Desmond's cousin. Ah, I should have known. Oh, My no. My money's on him being down at that shit old joint right now. Laughing it up with the rest of those fucking yo-yos. So let's get over there and deal with them. That's the plan. Sounds like there ain't many of them left. So I guess we should just storm the place. Surprise the shit out of them. I like this plan. Assholes burnt my fucking house down. Relax. We'll be there in a minute. They burnt my house down, shit, Joe. Shit, I need a piece. I almost forgot. Yeah, if you got one, that'd be good. If not, I'll just beat them to death with my bare hands. It makes no difference to me. Should be one in here somewhere. Ah, uh, here it is. Here you go. Thanks. You know, I don't really bother with buying guns because half the time either I lose them. Indianapolis Speedway? Shut up, Joe. Anyways, half the time I either lose the guns or I just get free ones. So why would I need to buy new ones? And also, dude. That was a nice house that I got, and they basically took everything away from me. I have no sandwiches to eat, no, no, no sodas to drink. What are you ready, Vito? Come on, let's go get these fucks. I lost all my weapons, I lost all my outfits, all because of some snot-nosed kid who's doing a uh, gang ritual. Are you following me, sir? No, I'm sorry, honey. I told you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away, but I'll find him, and when I do, you're not gonna do anything. Away. Oh, Asshole. Fuck. Come here. You, you've got some balls. Yes, I do. Oh, 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 snap! Hold on. Woo! All right, let's go. Move. Oh, even the guy, even the bartender's in on this. What? Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come on. 
Pull up. There you go. There you go. Oh. Oh, I ain't trying to die. I won't want to get on your bad side. Ah, uh, Joe, it's just that they really took everything away from me, and I'm pissed. Pissed! A magnum? I'll take that, too. Ooh, ooh! And I'm dead. And I'm dead! Okay. I, you, I chased him, but I lost him. The coward ran away. But I'll find him. And when I do... You were the one who ran away, oh, asshole. Fuck. Okay, and as soon you, as he says that so line, I'm going yes, to... I do. To right. Uh. Oh no. Stop it, old man. I had to. Joe, shut up, bro. I'm just trying to make sure I live. Oh! Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Come on. Hurry up. Stand up so I can shoot. Okay. Is there another one here? There has to be. Right in this corner. Yeah, I see him. Junk. Get you sooner or later. My goodness, this is crazy. I'll take that. Ooh, I got a nice weapon. This is nice. Okay. Wait, a grease gun? What's this? It's the same thing. Right? Basically. Okay. So right here. Oh, look at him running away. Look at him running away. Let's go to right, Okay. Come on. You drive. Of course I'll drive. Oh, the cops here. Let's go. Bye. Bye. I don't care about the cops following us. I need to get that Irish man. He's on my hit list for sure. Let's go! Boom! What are you trying to kill us? Sorry. Oh, Take care of that, huh? Yeah, but don't give me the house back. Don't worry. Business is looking good. You'll have to cash for a new one real soon. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. All right, let's go back home. So it's okay if I crash on your couch, right? I could do one better than that. Here, take these keys. They're for Marty's apartment. Aww. I'm trying to get rid of it right now for his mother. So uh, you might as well use it while I do. Thanks. Yes. Don't thank oh, me, buddy. Marty. You're too old to be sleeping on my couch. Plus, I just bought the thing. I don't want you lousing it up. Ew, Marty's Joe. Apartment's over in Oyster Bay. I mean, you thanks. Feel better now. No, but man. whatever. We did back there doesn't even start to make up. Hey, all that stuff they got pointed up is just things, Vito. Just things. Hey, those are my things, Joe. What do you think I do the shit we do anyway? It's to buy things. You know, suits, cars, broads, houses. I'm back to scratch. And all my damn cash was in that house, too. I promised myself I'd never be poor again. I'm a fucking wolf rat like an old man. Hey, hey, I understand. Don't worry, we'll think of something. You'll be back on your feet in no time. Glass is always fucking half full of you, isn't it? I understand, Vito, that you're frustrated, especially since you worked so hard to get all of those things. But Joe is right. They're just material things. I rather I rather lose all of my material items. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Come on, leave me alone. Anyways, I would rather lose all of my material possessions than lose my life. And yeah, it's so much easier said than done. But Joe has a point. See you, buddy. Sorry about tonight. Yeah, I'm not gonna drive in this car anymore. Should I catch the bus? Whoa, I almost got run over. Damn, okay. I'm gonna take this car. It's a nice little joint here. All right. Anything for me? Yes. What about this one? Yes. One more, one more. Perfect. Yay, I got myself a new vehicle. I promise I'm not gonna crash. No, oh my goodness. I'm trying so hard not to put music on in this episode because for some reason, YouTube likes to flag my videos. So at this point, I won't be surprised if I get a notification. 
It's just that YouTube gets to be so anal sometimes. Like, I'm not purposely putting on music. It's just in the game. What do you want me to do? As far as the whole Joe and Vito thing, yes, I agree with both of them. It sucks losing all those things that you've worked hard for. But at the same time, Joe is right. You can easily get all of those things back. It may not be the same exact replicas, but Vito, come on. I would rather lose that than lose my life any day of the week, you know? Alright, bye, I'm passing you. Nice. So yeah, it, it is going to be a pain to start all over again, but Vito, the fact that you have the chance and the opportunity to start all over again. Look at Marty. Marty's dead. Is he able to start over? Of course not. And look, look how how it's been. The mom is trying to get money for the funeral. I bet I bet she is. It makes sense to why Joe is trying to sell Marty's apartment. And yeah, I understand, Vito. You don't want to be just like your old man. I can tell you definitely have some childhood trauma that hasn't been resolved yet. But do you really think going to the Mafia life will actually heal your childhood wounds? Because at this point, sure, you get to have like the best, good, rich life for now, but is it really worth it? Okay, this can't be Marty's place, is it? Is this really Marty's spot? I guess it is. Holy cow. What a fucking dump. God, Cut it out. Cash for a hotel. Vito, stop being... Stop being an ass. At least, listen, it's not the best. At least we have a working toilet. Ew, my gosh, this is nasty. This is nasty. This guy doesn't even know how to clean. We got food over the place. Dinner on the stove. You know what? I'm gonna take some cola. There you go. I need a drink for this. That's a cute little fridge, I'm not gonna lie. Beer, cola. This kid doesn't have food? You know what? I'm going to bed. Fuck, this is creepy. My house burned to the ground, along with almost every penny I had. There was even some trouble with the cops, but Eddie took care of that. And since I didn't have any insurance, I had to live in this shithole of an apartment till I could get back on my feet. At least I managed to save Leo. He disappeared without a trace. I doubt Frank Vinci even knew where he went. And even though Henry failed to deliver on the contract, Eddie still brought him in when he heard Leo had skipped town. Me and Joe had a new partner. Well, well, well. Let me change my clothes, honestly. That phone can wait. I want to look nice and fresh. Right here. All right. Hey, Vito. It's Henry. Hey. Listen, I'm setting up something big. I want you to come in on it. If you're interested in hearing more, come meet me at Lincoln Park and bring a piece. Okay. I'll see you there. Say less, Henry. Say less. All right, where's my car? Is it in the same place? Yep, right in the middle of the street. Cute. I love it. Alright. Oh, wait, I just realized. It's a nice green. Wow, hold on. I gotta turn off the radio. My goodness. Alright, let's go. Excuse me, sir. I was here first. Stop bum-rushing me. Rude. Oh, Marty. Rest in peace. I feel bad. Oh, oh. Oh, oh my goodness. This is why, is this why we have car insurance now? Because of stuff like this? Now, Vito, as far as the insurance goes, here's my advice. 
Next time, when you get money, you stash it in a safe. And not just any safe, a fireproof safe. That way, if something like this happens again, regardless of the fact that the house is damaged or destroyed, that safe will, that safe will still be good and taken care of. That's what I would have done. If I was in a mafia and someone tried to like torch my place, I would definitely put all my cash, even a couple of my guns in the safe just for my own type of insurance. Okay, where's Henry? Where is this man? Oh, he's right here. All right, let me park. There you go. Nice. Don't judge my parking, please. Come on, Vito. Hey, here he comes. Hey! What's up? Hey, Vito. Take a seat. All right, listen. I've been doing some research into Carlos business. Yeah? So? So, the only reason he had Clemente killed was because he was selling dope, too. And he was stealing his customers. Now really? he just needs to get rid of one last obstacle. The one guy who could fuck things up and ruin his plan to become the main supplier for the whole city. Frank Vinci. Where'd you get all this? I talked to a few people I trust. Okay, so what does this have to do with us? Cause, if he can do it, why can't we? A kilo of heroin costs 2,500 bucks over in France. What? And it's another thousand bucks to get it here. And? And we pick up 11 grand for just driving the stuff to the dealers. That's 7,500 bucks profit a mm. kilo. Yeah, but what about Falcon? Carlo won't find out. And even if he does, he'll just threaten us and demand a cut. All right, but if Carlo's are you sure the about that? In the city, where are you going to buy the stuff from? I'm way ahead of you. What do you two know about the Tongs? The Chinks? Some kind of organization for Chinese immigrants, right? That's what I said, the Chinks. Right, but it's also a front for their other operations. They run the Chinese quarter, and they keep to themselves. But some of them are interested in doing business with outsiders, and they need middlemen since most people are afraid to deal with them. And we're the middlemen. Yep. They'll give us 10 kilos to start. For how much? 35 grand. And we can sell it for? 110. Nice. Wow. Okay. Where the hell are we going to get our hands on 35 grand? I know a loan shark. The oh, year come on. Policy. Really? A loan I shark? I think loan is 35, we give them 45 back. Now that means our take is over 20 grand a piece. Not bad for just moving the shit from one place to another. But you know, who's going to end up using this crap? What do you care? As long as it isn't an outlet. Of course, Vinci was right. Drugs are bad news. They kill people. Look, only idiots do drugs. Deadbeats and losers. If they want to kill themselves so badly, I'd gladly help them out. Especially for 20 grand. I got buyers in the ghetto. They'll take care of the distribution. So we don't need to worry about that. Are you guys in or not? I'm in. Come on, don't be stupid, Vito. 20 fucking grand in one afternoon. Didn't they tell us not to deal when, drugs? Right now, if we don't take the offer... Times will just find somebody else. Come on, Vito, wow. it'll be a piece of cake. I can't even let's say no. Bruno, then. Vito, how about you want us all down there? He's on Palisade Street. Sure. Okay, let's go. Wow, Vito, are, are we really doing this? Are we really doing this? Hold up, where's my car? I could have sworn. I had my car. Yeah, over here. Come on, you guys. Because I got this nice classic car yesterday, so we might as well just use it. Car won't fit all passengers. Dude, it has a... <clears throat> wow, this is crazy. Come on. You mean to tell me I have to steal a vehicle? This is so ghetto, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we need a bigger car that's like a four-door, right? Is this a four-door? Nope. Okay. A taxi it is. Don't judge me. Come on. Got one. Ah, oh, I gotta do it again. Okay, come on. Patience is key. That's my motto. And then one more. Nice. 
How did she get hit? All I did was open the door. You guys are so crazy. All right, let's go. So who's this guy we're gonna see, Henry? His name's Bruno. He's one of the only guys in town who could do a loan this big. What if he doesn't give it to us, then what? Then the deal's off. But don't worry, I know this guy. In pursuit of a speeding vehicle. There ain't nobody else we can get this kind of money Roger that. There's three of the guys I know of. But if you want to ask Carlo or Frank Vinci for 35 grand, be my guest. Yeah, no thanks. Who's the third guy? He ain't in business no more. Somebody blew up a room full of his guys and shot him point blank in the face with a Tommy gun. Oh, that guy. Come on, we said we wasn't gonna talk about that. All right, so, Henry, what is this guy, rich or something? I think he gets his money from some of the bosses from out of town who sit on the commission. Yeah? No shit. Yeah, which is why we can't stiff the guy. Besides, we gotta keep this quiet. Can we trust him? Sure. Wise guy's been borrowing money from this guy forever. As long as we pay him back on time, we won't have a problem. I feel like this is definitely going to backfire so horrendously. But you know what? Let me not jinx myself. I'm gonna have some good faith in this, you know? But I don't know. I just feel like it's okay, so this fishy. Is it. Stop here. All right. Yeah, my parking's trash. I'm so sorry. All right, Henry, where is this guy? Should we... Where is he? Are you really following me? Where is this guy? Where is this man? Oh, I am so sorry, Ms. No, don't blame yourself. It's my fault. I'm a jerk, okay? You can just tell me I'm a jerk. Okay, so he's in the back this whole time, of course. Hi, fellas. We're here to see Bruno. Hiya, Henry. If you got guns on you, put them down there. I gotta search you. Okay. As long as I get them back, you know? He kind of reminds me of Strauss hey, Bruno. from Hello, Henry. Red Dead Redemption 2. So, to what do I owe the pleasure of your company today? I need 35 grand and 20 dollar bills. Oh, that's a lot of money, Henry. A lot of money. Tell me, why should I give that much to a small-time guy like you, huh? Convince me. I got a sure thing. You'll have 45 by the end of the week. What kind of sure thing? Sorry, Bruno. That's a trade secret. Oh, he's interested. Then 45 is not enough. What? I'd be more comfortable with 65. It's a bit steep, even for you. 50's all I can do. Henry, Henry, I have no guarantee I'll get my money back. And you have nowhere else to go. Oh, he so, knows. How about 60? Don't think of it as interest. It's more like my cut of the profits. He Five, knows. Anything more than that, it's not worth my time. Deal. I'll give you $35,000 today, and you'll give me $55,000 by Friday. If you don't pay it back by then, the debt goes up by $10,000 every week. Wow. You'll get it by Friday. Okay. Isaac. Prepare $35,000 in $20 bills. This guy now, is really you know a shark. I trust you, Henry, but if you screw me, remember these wise words from the Bible. What is it? And my wrath shall wax hot, and I will kill you with the sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. Exodus, chapter 22, verse 24. <laughs> I'm impressed. You don't seem like the church-going type. Uh, but... Just remember, the money isn't mine. So even if you get rid of me, that doesn't get rid of your debt. So no funny business, okay, boys? Sure, Bruno. Thank you, Isaac. You want to count it, Henry? I'll take your word for it, and I'll bring it back on Friday along with your cut. I hope so. Good luck, boys. Thank you, shark. Damn, that means our cut's gonna be less because of that guy. Henry, what the hell was that about? 
Bro, that... I don't know. You know what? I'm just gonna mind my business. Oh, so... 50... 55. That's not bad. But still, he was really trying to dip us. That's wild. I, I don't care what anyone says. I'm calling it right now. He knows something. He knows what job we have. It makes sense. Alright, let's go. This shark knows exactly what type of job we have. That's why he wanted some of the cut. It makes sense. It makes total sense. You see, something bad's gonna happen. And no, I'm not trying to jinx it. I'm not trying to be a negative Nancy. I just know for sure a genius. something stop. is gonna happen. Shut up, Joe! I'm trying to get to the place as fast as possible so we can deal with this as fast as possible. Nice job, Henry. Of course. I told you give us the dough, didn't I? How come you know the Bible so good, Henry? You read it or something? Bruno always uses the same quote. I go to church on Sunday, so I asked the priest one time. You go to church? <laughs> yeah, and I can understand why you don't. There's big words, Ooh. there's no hookers in the fool's lousy. Oh. Episode of Henry Henry Mark Mark Driver. Jeez, I ain't been there since Roger that. 45. What? That time your mother made you go to confession? Yeah, that time she smacked me for checking out some chick's school. Ah, I gotta rest her soul. How about you, Joe? How long's it been? Easter. Ah, that ain't too bad. 1941. Damn, Joe. The out. What, you just figuring that out now? Don't worry, I'll save seats for the both of you. You know, I heard about a long shot named Bruno once. Must be the same guy. Yeah, what'd you hear? Well, you know Mickey the Crab, right? What, the guy who cleans the bathrooms at Carlos joint? Yeah, the guy who's only got a finger and a thumb on his left hand. Guess Wait, how that what? happened. I oh, owed a lot of money wow. to some yid from Southport. Get my drift? Oh, right. I get the picture. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, though. Crab's a moron. Not like that's gonna happen to us. You sure about that, Joe? Because, I don't know, something is really not sitting right with me with this mission. I'm not scared, I'm just being realistic. Every single time we do some planned out heist, the worst right, of the worst there. happens. Drive through the gate and into the yard. Say less. Okay, through the gate, into the yard. And then we gotta follow the Chinese guy. Okay. Damn, it took me a hot minute to stop. Now just follow me. Casually with hey, our suits. We got some business with your boss. Follow me, gentlemen. Mr. Wong is expecting you. Okay. What if he acts more than the 35 the 35 that we have? Because that's gonna be a pain. It's bad enough that now our debt is fifty five hundred. And if we don't pay it by Friday, it'll be increased to ten thousand per week. Maybe that's how he gets money. Because these loan sharks, they're worse than whores. I could have sworn my boss told me not to deal with drugs because drugs kill people. And now look. Look where we at. Vito, you really can't say no. And that's sad. Joe, get your... We just have guns. We're not going to use them. Hello, Mr. Wong. Let us get straight to business. Is your suitcase heavy enough? See for yourself. Hell, da. This is a zone of two million dollars. It's a total of three million. All right, take it away and bring the goods. You're a good man, Henry. Here is your merchandise. Each bag contains one kilo. Each kilo weighs a little more than two pounds. Which one do you want to test? This is mad serious. Look at that. Henry, are we good or not? Nah? Does Henry know what he's doing? Okay, we're good. I'm glad. 
Next time, we can give you twice the amount. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Wong. The pleasure was all mine. No, who no handshakes, just a bow. Wow. We actually got the goods. Now get off. See how easy that was. Get back in the car. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.